Uh, today is the final day, uh, the most promising day. I'm hoping for a lot more of what we've had. Yesterday night it was incredible. We had a lot come, and I just hope that today more fruit would be bared just like that. I pray for the VBS. Those kids are hungry and they need the Lord, and I just pray for the main service. It was so busy out there that the VBS workers had to be pulled out there. So there's this uh, boy that we've had for the entire trip. His name is Akash. He's been with us every day. Lord, he's got a bad family life, and uh, I asked him today. I said, Akash, when you die, where are you going to go? And he goes, I don't know. And I said, I can tell you how you're going to know. And so I told him about the love of Jesus, the cross, and how if you called upon his name and uh, believed him as your Savior with your heart, you'd be able to be saved. And he willingly took it, and he was so happy after we prayed. So kids are just so, they're so hungry, and they're so happy to be there. And they love the Lord. And you can tell, they're all hungry. And I just hope that you know, more of them would come over to be saved as our final night. We went out on visitation and we went to different neighborhoods, passed out the last of our uh, flyers that we had, our John and Romans, and we're at the church now. So today was actually probably one of the best days for me. Um, we have blue and red teams. We're on team blue, blue team best team. Um, so we combined all our groups today and we all went out, passed out the John and Romans, just like Sarah said, and I was with a group that I hadn't been with before, and um, they took us to the seawall, so that was really cool to just experience the seawall and be with the locals and how, um, and like to interact with them. We found out that the power was out at the church, and we got here, and nothing worked. And so a little bit earlier, we all just kind of prayed, and we're just waiting to see what the Lord does. So we really hope that the power comes back on because we're really excited for the last night. We I love stay. it. Guyana is beautiful. The people are awesome. Mm -hmm. I've never experienced anything like this. Um, yeah. I would say I, probably the kids. Mm -hmm. For me, doing helping Michael and Christian with the media, it's mm -hmm. I've not necessarily worked with a lot of people, um, you know, like with Salvation, but I've got to pray with a few people, but getting to see uh, from behind the camera just the different emotions and just people helping them come to know the Lord has really impacted me in a different way that I don't think many people can really realize what's happening. So, I've really enjoyed that. The power that. just came on. Amen. The Lord works in mysterious Amen. ways. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It just came on. During our interview. Hi. Like... See, this is my favorite part right here. Right here. Teresa. Come here, come here. Yeah. Oh. This is come, Teresa. Come, come. She's Hi. our bestie now. Yeah. She She's wants to be friends. on the video. <laughs> and she has coffee apparently that she didn't bring me. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep so I had to drink this. But I'd say my favorite part is the food and getting to know the teenagers here. They're really awesome. Mm -hmm. I've made friends with them quicker than I've probably made any friends in my life before. <laughs> they're just they're yeah. really accepting, really awesome. Well, it's night four of the crusade here in Leonora, Guyana. We've just finished up. We had the opportunity of preaching over to, to over 3,000 different people in over four days. Uh, tonight's attendance was in excess of 925, with over 71 people coming to Christ. What a uh, what a wonderful week! That includes children as well as adults. Uh, thank you for praying. Thank you for encouraging us. And uh, we're just so delighted to be able to partner with Pastor Gerald John here at the Unity Baptist Church and also the good people uh, here in Guyana. And God's just worked in an amazing way. Uh, I couldn't ask for our missions team to have worked any harder, done any better. Uh, they just went above and beyond going the extra mile and uh, going out visiting, inviting people, uh, witnessing, doing altar work, singing. I'm telling you, God did a great work in the lives of our young adults and in our missions team this week. And we can't say enough of how excited we are about the future of Guyana and the work of God in this country. The people are so receptive, so open to the gospel. And we're just praying for God to bring a spiritual awakening to this nation. I trust you'll pray with me for that. Pray for safety as our team heads back to America over the next couple days. Uh, maybe a day of rest and enjoyment tomorrow and then on our way back to America. Thank you for watching uh, and keeping up with us through these uh, video updates and praying with us. You're part of what's going on here through your prayers and supplication. God's worked mightily and we're so thankful for that. God bless you.